Welcome to Smokey Approved. This is not a part of the particular number series that I do have going. This is one of those, again, just trying to get to it. It's kind of new. I don't know how much of the YouTube copyright is going to kill a nigga, but it's a new future joint. I don't particularly listen to too much future in my, we'll say, everyday life. There's particular records that, like, uh, he's either featured on or I guess they're, like, his records. But, like, I'm not listening to future, like, actively or, like, this is probably, we'll say, the first time I've gone out of my way to, like, listen to a future record. So, uh, I've been watching him since he came in on that uh, Racks on Racks on Racks. Ever since then, I've been paying attention. But he's just never made anything that's super, like, my shit. So, I seen that, I think it's GQ interview. And they call that nigga the best rapper alive. It's full on cap. Niggas smoking mad dick. Them niggas is crazy. That's not even close to being true. But. Is he a prominent rapper in today's time? And I'm like, yeah, I, I, I can give him that. And then he, he's got a new project out. And I'm trying to listen to as much music as I can. So I was like, fuck it. We're going to do this one. Uh, this will drop whenever I can get it to come out due to YouTube copyright. But besides that, hey, let's get into this. There is a future record where you're like, are you just sleeping? Bro, I know he's the nigga that helped Ludacris write the Blueberry Yum Yum hook. Like, stop playing with me. I, I know the background and I follow the career. I just don't like the music all the time. It, 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 that can be okay. So, don't try and talk to me like I don't know. I just I may not have heard a record. So that's where you can you can help me. Suggest good music, but don't try and tell me I'm sleep on the artist because I've been following the career. So let's get into I'm that nigga by Future. Let's see if it's any good. I'm gonna need free bands now that I'm doing this shit. I'm, I'm holding niggas accountable for all this shit. I'm gonna need you to make a artist actually pop off of fucking free bands, like at least fucking one, and I mean like really pop, not just oh that niggas making money because that's where a lot of you niggas trying to oh well it, it, it's, it's perfectly fine. That's not what the fuck I'm talking about. It's not what I'm talking about. So, all right. Play with that legacy, have it much grace than a referee trap in a sport. Uh, go back to the base and connect with the zone. Then we take out in New York. I'm leaving the scene, I'm peeping the scene. And Rory got too many hearts. Hold out a scheme and turn off the demons. We make it run at the office. My first Bentley cool, I adapt. A lot of commas and dramas on marriage. 40 pointers on me like a bad bitch. Did my numbers, my coupe is a gadget. Who? Ripping that bird like a maniac. Young nigga asking what's any at. Slide, what am I hell of that? I'm in the spot with a Grammy at. I been that nigga and hand me down. Numero uno millennium. Turn out the zoo like a Jimmy them. They look up with strikers, don't hear me now. I turn every bitch into a pop star. I'm in my globe. I had swagger. I been one of none of y'all. When I was poor, cash on me. I cash out on channel one and I can show it. Bash me. Like All right, these last little three to four bars, he fell off. He started that verse hard. This like I get he was changing rhyme schemes, but the the change is not catchy enough to me that I can support it. I would have told him to rewrite these so far. The, just them last three, but that that intro was something I could like. I could get behind that shit. I like like the flow. I was I was fucking with it. Not a big dog. I just throw it on a scatty pet hunter. Bitty ass. I just blow it. No ballistics and suspicious. Fuck the witness. Bad conditions. Grab a bitch. Get on be statistic. Came off the mission, high definition. I bought my left wrist on Foxy. My ring cost is pink like an ostrich. I feel lost, this bitch got herself hostage. I done got exhausted, running through the money. Oh, hundreds, I need to spend cause they don't turn them no more. Be a mama, go to court cause I won't fuck her no more. I'd like to point out, no, the fuck you don't. No, no, the fuck you don't. There is a subculture of money collectors, like niggas that collect stamps. It's fucking that old. If you got some old hundreds, don't fucking spend them shits and put them back in circulation to be destroyed, nigga. That's like uh, an appreciating asset. If you got so much fucking money, like, fuck it. It's, yeah, it's $100 a day, but due to inflation and then fucking time and its rarity in the fucking currency stream, like, at 100 is no longer 100. It's actually... 150 fucking 250 like it's just again like like I, this i do shit with everybody it's not just this nigga like if you're gonna say some shit there should be a nigga in the studio who is almost like google 
that shit's stupid or that shit would sound like this to somebody else that knows just a little bit more about money and if you're going to rap about money in front of somebody that knows a little bit more about money when you say i got these old hundreds i need to spin to a nigga like me i'm like that's a fool's fucking like if, if we're really like making money at his level and assets and all these other things like those old hundreds become other assets like appreciating jewelry that you buy that then makes more money because we'll say gold's value goes up or whatever so it's just again like i i, I hold niggas accountable to the shit they say because some of the shit that these niggas be saying or putting in their rhymes like my nigga that shit don't make sense upon further scrutiny somebody should have told you that shit even though it should sound nice it, it sounds nice it's also oh, rich nigga flex but it's really not it's it's, it's, it's dumb as fuck I don't know which one of his baby mamas he talk about, but that's some raw shit. Jesus Christ, you want to go to court because you won't fuck her no more? God damn. Be a mono, go to court because I won't fuck her no more. You not a wifey, I can't fall in love with no more. Stop doing Miley in the ecstasy, I'm right back on it. Cash my special cloth, I got diamonds on. Ooh, bags of cash, like car service, instead of no. Killers bought with me, I don't need a bodyguard. I got all kind of hoes, international. Sandro, pay PJ, flight that hoe. Right wrist froze, like I got an ice pack on it. Get a nigga smoke, ride it like a bomber club. Drug dealers and scammers will never hunt my son. They be right down with me. Shooters right down with me. See, 500 shots in VIP. When I'm in. Told the waitress, don't drink liquor, I drink lean. Hey. Ha, 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 hey, ha. That's some real South nigga shit right there. That's some real South nigga shit right there. I don't drink liquor, I drink lean. God damn. Ha, 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 hey. I also, somebody who's not a future friend. And somebody who, like, is a future fan, can you please answer this to me? He is openly admitted to, like, that line is not true. That's, that line is not even remotely true. But it sounds really good in the music. How do you guys square that and then allow that nigga to continue to do this shit in the music? Because at least for me personally, like, because I know that, I know he's just making music. And I just let it go. But then that's why I don't choose to listen to the music because at a certain point like the i guess the, i want not the it needs to be a one-to-one -one, but like you need to come to me originally just being a nigga who just makes songs not a nigga who like oh i was purported to do this thing and i don't do it no more or i don't even do it at the level i rap at or plan on it even though i encourage niggas to do it i just like how do y'all square that shit or like how do y'all just I just I don't got I don't get how y'all squared that. I don't. I it, I'm confused. I'm that nigga. I'm that nigga. I'm that nigga. This beat also like the fuck are we doing? Are we going backwards in the South? Because the production to me seems like, unless it's in certain pockets, it's regressing. Because this shit sounds like some early 2000s shit with fucking modern trap drums. Like, that's all that shit sounds like. There's no, doesn't sound innovative at all. Like, this beat doesn't get any airplay if Future's not rapping on it. Like, none fucking at all. Like, the fuck are we doing like this doesn't seem to be pushing the genre forward in any way not at all it just sounds like standard ass future like if you're a future fan you're probably like yo this nigga's bugging but i'm just like nigga this song got no replay value so far so you better stop fucking lying to me oh it'll be the, the beat not even hard like the fuck i'm that nigga who did you get the spear from who got you on cell phone? I'm that nigga. Who the first rapper to hood on? Who got more shooters than Al Capone? I'm that nigga. My dogs and feds talk on iPhone. I rock with gas cause I'm a rock star. So keep winning the head just like Zona. My brother. I'm in a foreign doing donuts. I can't be caught around a sheep. You D.I.E. you fuck with me. I don't do runners, don't do leases. My shit. Crank up the trap without the key. 
So that rental that you got from T Pain to do that music video never happened. Or we talking about what we do now. Let me know. Like, cause that again, that's the shit I'm just talking about. Like my nigga, the the track record of your life contradicts the shit that you be rapping about far too actively while listening. I just don't get how people. I just don't get it. I don't get it. Like, what the fuck? I don't do rentals. I don't do leases. This my shit, nigga. You rented a motherfucking car from T Pain to flex like it was your shit to make a music video. The fuck? Who didn't nobody tell this nigga not to say this in the studio? Oh, well, I, I guess because currently in the culture we live in, nobody says anything about a nigga's music because oh his pockets is fat, so we can't talk about his music. Fuck all that shit. Hey, I'm not saying the nigga shouldn't get no money. I'm saying the nigga shouldn't be out here fucking saying this fuckery. Making records and nobody's saying nothing about it. Talking about I can't be around no sheep, nigga. You're in a studio full of fucking sheep. Cause then nobody tell you that some of these bars don't line up with your life future. They just they should be changed. It's gonna take a little bit of extra work, but to make it to where we don't get called out on nothing, maybe we should make these changes. Cause that just doesn't line up. It's just I can't be around no fucking sheep. Well, you got so many goddamn yes men around you. Better stop it. Say shit on fire, I got it heated. This bitch is bad, she still can see me. Open your eyes when you eat it. When you eat it bitch. I get the. We agree there. We agree there. She does need to do that. We agree there, future. That that's that is a bar I can agree with. Open your eyes when you eat it. When you eat it bitch. I get the spaz like a demon. Demon. Put her in the ass, made a pee pee. I'm just a ghetto boy like PZ. <laughs> oh my god. I go to 60. I just love she texting me, she miss me. Bro. On that nigga. Bro. On that nigga. Not even on no hater shit. Like it, it actually is to me the best part of the song is the last twelve bars of the song before the little. Uh, I think it's like four bar fade out or a little like outro section that they have. That section, that's like yo okay. If the whole song was like that section, I wouldn't have shit to fucking say. But there's so much just cavalier bullshitting lackadaisical effort on the fucking writing of the song just i just again i'm somebody that's not enamored with this person's musical world so a lot of you guys are just like oh well that's just future that's just future. that's perfectly fine but the fact that he has a fan base that doesn't challenge him to to evolve or to to keep it at a, a premier level we'll say like a, a push of t that motherfucker got a rhyme at a premier level to still make me think a Coke bar sounds good 20 years fucking later. That's some skill. This future shit, the the fact that little niggas are still being produced is the reason why this nigga got a fan base. Because niggas get older and most of the messaging doesn't resonate. It doesn't last. So whatever future records were hot for you at the time when you found future, you're not thinking those the new future records are hot. It's just whatever you heard at the time that you were future's biggest fan and then you moved the fuck on. That nigga's got a revolving door of fans. The fan base is not stationary. And then the only stationary aspect of the fan base I think would be the women that do listen to this nigga cuz he's got a large fan base of women because of the shit that he says. I could I could get that shit, but as far as niggas fucking with this shit long term, I'm just like, I do not get it. I'm not turning this shit on. If niggas is like, yo, play some future, nigga, you turn this shit on, I'm telling you, turn that shit the fuck off. This shit is, this shit trash. Honestly, like, this is, yeah, this, again, that's how I feel when I hear a wax on. This is a waste of my fucking time. Like, could have got that time back. Uh, yeah, if, if you're a future fan and you feel like there's a record that's hot that I should be listening to that's good, uh, that I've not actually heard, then yeah, I'll for sure do a reaction on it. But if this shit, this shit ain't gonna work. I'm gonna check another record out off of this project. But 
if it's a bunch if he got 12 of these on a fucking album get your fucking money back get it back asap this shit i wouldn't even want to hear this shit live this shit would not do nothing for a nigga live i'm not hearing this shit live one bit i'm upset a nigga trying to play this shit you better play racks on racks on racks before you play this shit fuck at least that shit got me fucking nostalgia energy this is i'm just Man, I'm just getting madder and madder the more I talk about this shit. Uh, yeah, that, that's it for me on this one. Catch me on the next one. I'll see y'all later. Thank you.